Chili's Bar and Grill is an American casual dining restaurant chain that opened in 1975. Thank you for your suggestion. I want my baby back. Chili, baby back ring. I want my baby back. Chili, baby back ring. I got my baby back ring. In 1975, Larry Levine founded the restaurant with Malloy Buckner and John Foshi. The partners picked the name Chili's because they had chili on the menu and they figured it was something people would talk about. Levine had worked in clubs and band booking and then ran a steak and seafood restaurant with Buckner. Their first location opened on Greenville Street in Dallas in March of 1975 at an old post office that had been converted to a darkened bar. The Chili's founder revamped it with a fresh coat of green paint. They sought to provide an informal full-service dining atmosphere with a menu that focused on different varieties of hamburgers offered at reasonable prices. The chain that would become famous for baby back ribs kept it simple in the beginning. Chili, burgers, fries, and tacos. There were 75 cent beers and $1.50 margaritas. They later added fajitas and nachos, adding to that Mexican flair. The early goal of Chili's was making $100 per day. Levine knew that they had something good a few months into the restaurant's opening. A line of customers was wrapped around the building waiting to get inside. Those lines never stopped. Chili's expanded from one location in Dallas to another in Houston, and it would soon become a regional chain. Levine's concept proved successful and 22 more Chili's restaurants featuring similar Southwest decor was opened in the late 1970s and early 1980s. In 1983, Levine sold the 28 restaurant chain to restaurant executive Norman E. Brinker. Brinker purchased a significant share in the Chili's chain, becoming its chairperson and chief executive officer. At this time, Chili's had less than $1 million in equity, was $8.5 million in debt, and was earning less than $1 million a year. Planning for an expansion, Brinker took Chili's public in 1984, selling stock to the public. In 1984, Chili's restaurants were generating $40 million in sales from their menu of gourmet burgers, french fries, and margaritas to improve the chain's profitability and thereby allowing for expansion, Brinker began the process of fine-tuning Chili's operations. Seeking input from Chili's customers as well as from customers of competing restaurants, Brinker made a practice of strolling around the parking lots of eating establishments, informally asking customers how they liked their meals and what changes they would like made. On the basis of this feedback, he began to shift the focus of Chili's menu away from burgers to include a broader array of salads and chicken and fish entrees. Throughout the mid-1980s, Brinker and his associates expanded Chili's steadily, opening new restaurants across the country and further adapting the eatery's offerings. By the end of the decade, burgers accounted for just 10% of the company's sales, as new items such as ribs and fajitas proved more popular. In 1989, Chili's purchased the rights to Romano's macaroni grill concept. In just seven years under Brinker's leadership, Chili's had grown to include 215 restaurants. Although a large percentage of these were directly owned by the company, a franchising program had also proved useful in opening new restaurants. 
In May of 1991, Chili's announced it was changing its corporate name to better reflect the newly diversified nature of its operations. The company's name became Brinker International Incorporated. Brinker undertook extensive market research in order to adapt restaurant offerings to suit customer preferences. Customer feedback began to suggest that the average age of Chili's customers had increased. The restaurant took steps to make itself more appealing to this segment of the public. The volume of the music played over restaurant loudspeakers were lowered, the size of the print on Chili's menus were enlarged, and sizes of some portions were reduced and more low-fat entrees were added. At the same time, the company promoted Chili's as a friendly place for younger couples with children, providing fast and efficient service and low prices. Through the 1990s, the Chili's chain continued to grow, expanding to over 1,600 locations in the United States. Chili's embarked on an advertising campaign that became quite memorable. I'm sure you remember this. I want my baby back. Chili's baby back ribs. I want my baby Chili's baby back ribs. I got my baby back ribs. That campaign would cause an earworm for many. In fact, it's still playing in my head. It also caused it to be spoofed in other movies as well. Let me make you a deal, all right? You get the motor, you keep your money, and I'll get your baby. Right. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. Excuse me. Chili baby back then. In 2004, Chili's opens the 1,000th restaurant in Pinnacle Park, Dallas. Chili's would also expand internationally. By 2009, Chili's celebrated its 200th international restaurant with the opening of its location in Bangalore, India. Today, Chili's restaurants are still going strong. There are over 1,600 locations found throughout the United States and around the world. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.